What are the biggest middle class money traps you need to avoid in life and what should you do instead? Here is our walkthrough of the 10 biggest middle class money traps you need to avoid. My name is Daniel and I'm here to help people with personal finance. For most it is tough to get in control of their finances and it is much easier to swipe with credit card and extra time and it can feel completely overwhelming to get back on track if you already feel like you're running uphill. In this video, I'm going to run through the biggest middle class money traps so you can notice them and stop doing them today to get back in control of your finances. And while you're watching, make sure to let us know what you're doing each day to stay out of the money traps down in the comments. It is always interesting to hear the experience others are having with their finances. And your comment may help others find out how to get in control of their finances themselves. No money down plans. Don't buy with the no money down plans where you'll have to pay off the item in rates afterwards. This will ruin your monthly cash flow going in and as you buy more and more you will start to pay your debt givers first instead of yourself. Instead save up some cash and then when you have enough put all the money down for the item you want to buy. Car leases. You might like your car really much, but when you see your new friend's or neighbor's car with all the new features, then it can be really hard to not feel that you want the same thing. But you don't have the money to pay for it, so instead you decide to lease as you can see you have the money for the monthly lease payment. But leasing is the most expensive way to drive a car. Instead save up and buy your own new car when you have the money for it. Playing the lottery. Everyone dreams about becoming a millionaire overnight, but instead of putting in the work people would rather pay for a chance to win big. Even though the price for the tickets might not be a lot, then the odds of you actually winning is almost not existing. Instead of you buying a ticket for a dream, why not start working on it and take the small steps on the way to becoming a millionaire. It will probably have a higher chance of succeeding. Subscriptions. Be careful with the free trials which will sign you off for a subscription afterwards. It can be a great way to test a service, but if you do it a lot of times and forget that you have signed up for multiple things, then they will draw money from your bank account month after month. So remember to check the cost and the cancellation terms of the free trials if there is something you are not using anymore. Then remember to cancel it and don't pay for it in the future. Investment Scams Many people will give others investment advice and some promise you to get rich quick. Where they will play on your fear of missing out of a big chance. So we have to do it right now. Just remember that it is not possible to get rich quickly and people trying to promise you this is just out to scam you and take your money. There doesn't exist a high return with zero risk. To get rich will take time and you will have to grind for it. Credit cards. Don't buy things with credit cards which you can't afford. If you first get into credit card debt then it can be really hard to get out of. It can be a good idea to use credit cards and collect points and credit score. But it should be done in the correct way where you're sure that you have enough money to pay your credit card bill. Lifestyle inflation. When you start to earn more money, then don't let your lifestyle inflate to use all of it. If you inflate your lifestyle every time you get a pay raise, then you will never have breathing room to save and invest your money. Your expenses should be lower than your income and not equal to them. Instead, when you get a pay raise, then make sure to put some of it aside each month to save and invest. Eating out a lot. Think about your cost of eating. Usually, it is much more expensive to eat out multiple times a week instead of eating at home. But because it is easier and fun, many people are used to eating out often and not think about the cost if you add it all together. It is okay to do special occasions which you want to celebrate, but try to limit it. Keeping bad debt. Bad debt is borrowed money to purchase items which fall in value. Often you borrow the money through a credit card, personal loans, payday loans or auto loans. But don't fall into this trap. It may look like you have everything sorted out when you own all the nice items. But if you are in debt for them, then it will destroy your wealth and add stress to your daily life as you need to raise money each month to pay the bills. Buying too much house too soon. It can put you in a lot of pain where you feel that your money doesn't reach that far each month because you will have to pay off a big mortgage each month. It can quickly get overwhelming for many first time homeowners. Your first house doesn't have to be a dream house. You can start by buying a simple one and get a bit of savings down which you can use later to scale to a bigger one. You should only buy a house that meets your needs and that can help you build equity and wait with the dream house you want to retire in. Stop the money traps today. Are you doing any of the 10 money traps today and are there any of them you would like to stop with? 
If you start to get more in control of your finances, then you will slowly see that you will get a surplus of energy each day, as you will have less stress about how you are going to afford things and how you are going to pay your bills each month. It will make your life much more enjoyable and you will find the value in even with small things. Happiness usually doesn't come from your items and services, but from the people that we experience them with. So you can get a lot of happiness also from cheap experiences, if you just do them with somebody that you love. But if you don't have a surplus of energy from your finances, then can quickly put a shadow over your daily life, so you don't notice what opportunities are right in front of you. My name is Daniel, and I'm here to help people with personal finance. So if you're interested in more topics like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you will be notified when we release a new video which might help you on your journey.